Hey guys, it's Mick. Welcome back to more Hive Swap Act 1. In the last episode, we took control of Zephyros and explored around the upstairs of his hive. And in this one, we will be tackling on the great unknown that is downstairs. Alright, let's see. What is this way? Alright, this brings us to the kitchen as well as our Lucis. What is this? A playbook for the burgundy blood uh, burgundy position in the arena stickball. You still have dreams of becoming a star pusher, and studying these killer plays was going to help you take you help take you to the top. But your play on the field never quite lived up to the athletic promises of your fantasies. Also, the closer your rights of ma maturation uh, get, the more sobering reality. Uh, the, the more sobering reality sinks in that you'll never get to play professionally. Life of butlering, here you come, you guess. Well, let's pick it up. Okay. Um, it's not looking... Here. Uh, it's nearly escaped from your impending death the clock. You better not be late. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's not looking like there's much else we can do in the kitchen yet. Uh, you currently don't have any unagitated grub slurry that needs agitating in your grub slurry agitator. What? Uh, whenever you do though, you always know right where to go. I, I suppose. Well, let, let's get some pop. You pick up the grub juice hydration cylinders. Uh, nice! Now if you need a quick restorative for your psychic, psychic stamina, you'll just have that in your hand instead of not having it like some kind of jump. Can I only get one? What about the cake? He doesn't turn seven sweeps old for a couple wipes, but you wanted to celebrate him for his right of maturation. Okay. Bioslaw really doesn't keep well. Then get then get rid of it. Always useful in case you need to rip up a souffle? You're bad at that, but it's a mandatory part of your future job, so... Uh, hello, uh, Lucis. What is our, our Lucis's name? Zoosmell? Can I rename it? Um, let's see. Snorlax. You ask Snorlax to move. At first you're friendly and casual, as if you expect him to move easily. Then you try being polite, but a little distant. Your tone becomes annoyed, then firm, followed by stern, finally shipping to anger. Nothing works. You just can't reach him lately. The only thing that Snorlax seems to care about is his sloth treats. What about some pop? <laughs> he only eats sloth treats, and he only eats a lot of them? Well, I guess I better keep my eye out for sloth, sloth treats, then. Wait, what was that title? Arena Stickball I Illustrated. Grubs Journally? So many words, I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> uh, those are actually the only titles you know. The rest always incorporate the magazine's name on the cover into some sick graphic design to the point that you can't actually tell what the name is. This one with the graffiti of a muscle beast throwing up is usually about movies, though. Okay. Uh, your Imperial Edict Mandated Portrait of the Heiress. She rules your planet with a perfectly manicured golden fist. You know it's perfectly manicured because she recently in this issued an imperial memorandum about her new nail art. The drones outside are doing her, doing her dirty work. She'll have a shiny top coat of blood after the night. All of it common hued, you're sure. Alright. Uh, that is not the back out button. The CDs are hexagonal, excuse me? Ah, rust-blooded. Uh, as a rust-blood, you're not permitted to have the luxurious circular discs, only the standard hexagons. Oh. 
I see. Why are circular discs, uh, luxurious? And what's going on? Oh, we can just change the channel. So we have... Whatever that is, we have the news, and we have whatever's going on with the heiress's family, and then we have static. Okay. Um, it's looking like that's about everything we can do here. Okay. Uh, so let's go, let's go out here. It's too dangerous to leave this way. The drones could see you. Safest bet is to go out through the back door. They'll probably spot you there too, but, well, your hive only has so many doors. <laughs> well, let's ascend. Maybe this playbook we have will, will help us for, um, that one. This thing. Let's see. Alright, let's go! You can do it, Zephyros! I believe in you, buddy. Just avoid the crab-looking things. Scorpions? I'm not sure. Okay. Yes, nice dodge! Alright, you're free! I'm so proud of you. Oh yeah, you crashed that can, buddy! Alright, now let's get the, the sloth treats. Here they are, I believe. Yep. Uh, can we mix them with... There's an achievement for that. Uh, these are actually stats for Grub Juice and your Flart Manual due to uh, Regrettable Cross-Platform Black Rareness. Uh, I completely butchered reading that, now I forget what it said. Restores depleted Psych Mana. Well, okay, you'll keep that in mind. Oh! I didn't combine the treats, I combined the Flart Manual and the... the juice. Okay. Uh, due to a regrettable cross-platform brand awareness licensing campaign. Okay. No, I wanted to combine the juice and the treats. He doesn't really like grub juice, and you don't really like sloth treats, so this wouldn't really appeal to anyone. You think you'll call this hypothetical recipe, recipe the perfect compromise? Let's wreck the mic. Stuff doesn't really do your voice any favors, possibly because your throat partially closes up in protest by the time you finish half a cylinder. Okay. You're actually able to bend an entire spoon without re refreshing your reserves with grub juice. You couldn't always, do you suppose that's an improvement? Wow. Oh hey, you're getting better. And that's always, that's always good. I'm proud of you, Zephyros. Alright, let's go and feed- I can't believe I got an achievement by complete accident because I misinterpreted the FLARP manual as the, the snacks. So let, let's give our- let's give Snorlax some snacks. Now get out of the way! Hey buddy, I love you, but please move. There you go. Thanks, buddy. Look at that. It, no, I'm trying to click on Melusis, not... I can't... I can't click on... Oh, there we go. You thank Snorlax for moving out of the way. All you had to do was give him exactly what he wanted. And now we're stepping on his tail. Uh, Things are looking pretty dicey out there, but Joey Alien needs your help. That she does. So let's go. Uh, excuse me? So, that was definitely given to us by a first guardian, right? And the, the, the Trolls Universe's gar uh, first guardian is Doc Scratch. So, this is great. Uh, fantastic. I don't particularly want to do what Doc Scratch wants me to, but I guess... I must. Squ Scratchware received. It was absolutely given to us by Doc Scratch. Fantastic. All future messages to and from this device are protected from third-party surveillance. As a special one-time offer, we all past messages are protected as well. Do you agree that you are already subject to the terms of service? I'm vaguely unsettled by all of this.
Excuse me? Rubble leader. Great, we died. And now Joey has cube. Hello? Oh, wait, this is a first. H hello? H hey, Joey, it's it's Joey, right? Yeah, that's right. And you're Xerox? Actually, no, I'm Zephros. Oh, oops. Are you okay? What's going on? I thought we weren't supposed to talk. Yeah, something weird happened, though. I think it's safe now. What do you mean? Real quick, do you have a green and white symbol on your chat window right now? Yes, we do. Oh, hey, yeah, that wasn't there before. Okay, I think we're safe then. To, to chat, anyway. Okay, good. I still don't quite get what the danger is, but... I guess I'm going to need to trust you if I have any hope of getting out of here. Well, um, some bad news on that front. A missile hit my hive, and I'm buried under the, under the debris in my lawn ring. A missile? I heard a big heavy thump a minute ago. Is that related? Oh yeah, that was probably the missile that nearly killed me. You need help way more than I do right now. I don't want to be a bother. But I was about to say something to those effects. Or I mean... I was gonna say, I'm sorry, I can't help you anymore, and we're both stuck waiting to find out if the flames or the drones will reach us first. Not to that. I'm gonna save you. Aren't you stuck? I was, but that missile knocked some boxes over that I don't think I could have moved on my own, so in a weird way it kind of helped? Boxes? Yeah, they were blocking the vent shafts. I'm gonna climb up there and see where it leads. Well, you're... You're kind of like a real-life action hero, wow! Oh, shucks. I want to help you... Uh, I want to help you the way you were going to help me. And you were putting yourself at a lot more risk than I realized. I repeat. I've been meaning to ask. What the heck does that mean? Oh, you can use letters and numbers to make a little face. Tetrarch Domic, like, uh, told me he likes it when I smile. We have those where I'm from, but I don't know what the X means. Oh, those are my horns. Horns? Yeah. Like the guy on the screensaver? I think so. That's probably not me, though. But those are real? Um, do you not have horns? I thought they were out of frame. No, I don't have horns. Jeez, what a question. That's so weird. And cool. You really are an alien. I never thought I'd meet one. Well, today's your lucky day. Or, I mean, it really seems to not be that, but you understand what I'm going for here. I think so, yeah. Uh, I'll be there as quick as I can, so... Apply pressure to the wounds and try not to move too much? I don't think he has a choice. It's okay. The weight of the rubble crushing my body is pressing down on my wounds and preventing me from moving at all. Man, Xerox, buddy. We've really got to work on your concept of what's okay. We really do. Well, let's... What's going on here? It seems to be a map, but you don't recognize the shapes of any of the land masses depicted on it. That would be because it is Alternia and not Earth. Or, well, actually, now that you think about it, they maybe do look kind of familiar, but you're not sure where you would have seen them before. Let's see. Anything else I can really... No? Can we open the door? No way, if you wanted to get... To... Yeah, you would have stayed at home. Um, then where... Let's see. Uh, well, what's what's going on here? You don't really know what this is all about. You kind of like to never find out, please. Um, well, what's going on up here? Oh, this is a lot. This reminds you of Jude's dorky conspiracy theories. Although, you guess maybe those weren't actually conspiracy theories? More like conspiracy thac th facts? Facts, apparently. It, you guess the same may go for all this stuff, but geez, do these dorks have to always dig themselves into such a crazy bone hole with all the layered scrawls and everything? Yeah, it's, it's kind of required. Um, oh! The vent! We can, we can probably crawl through the vent, yeah? Oh, this music is funky fresh. Uh, the vent is going to break below us, isn't it? 
Oh no, we we made it to the end. Okay, good. Hey, I made it through the vent shaft. Wow, that's pretty exceptional. Well, gosh, thank you. It was a little creepy and, in retrospect, fairly dangerous. Or, shall I say, it was more dangerous than I expected? Well, um, I would rather you didn't, honestly. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, but typing quirks are sort of... I know that you don't really have one, but, um, they're kind of a thing that's exclusive to you, you know? I mean, it's okay if they're used occasionally by someone you're close to. Uh, no offense, but I don't know you that well yet. I see. Well, I'm sorry. I'll know better from now on. Oh no, I'm probably being weird about it. I'm sorry. You had no way of knowing. Zephyros, it's okay to tell people when they do something that bothers you. Better to express how you feel than to sit on it forever while the, the other person has no idea. What kind of foundation for a friendship would that be? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, you're right. By the way, how much rubble are you covered in exactly? I'm not really sure how I'm going to get you out of there. Oh, it, that won't be too hard if you can find my hover pad. It's around there somewhere. I used it to move or move my Lucis around, but Tetrarch Domic borrowed it. To move some guns, I think? Or maybe it's drums. Oh, bad timing. <laughs> well, I mean, that was a couple sweeps ago, so I guess it's pretty much his now. <laughs> no! <laughs> I know you're Moirales, but that is also theft. You- it's yours, you need it! You know what they say, your hive is my hive. <laughs> that would be okay if you could come and get it yourself whenever you needed it. But if he just takes it and, like, keeps it from you, that's bad! Actually, that's mostly what the Tetrarch says as he's taking my stuff. Okay, that's nice, but where's this hover pad exactly? Oh, right, sorry. It's fine, I just don't want you to bleed to death or whatever while typing. Uh, I think it's probably still in the Tetrix loft above his respite block. Do you know where you are now? Not really, but... There's tons of guns. Sigh. I don't want to make you anxious, but that describes, um, every block in the Tetrix hive. Great. Uh, I'll message you when I've made some more progress, I suppose. Okay, yeah. I think I'm about to pass out from bud loss, so I'm gonna chill out here for a little while. Spy face! Hang in there, I'll find that hover pad soon. Mmm. <laughs> Zephyros is probably, like, so close to just, like, flipping out in an, just, like, an anxiety attack or something. Just with how much he's clearly, how much distress he's just clearly sweeping under the rug. It's not great. Uh, anyway, what, what is this? We can pick it up? Uh, you pick up the, let's see, looking at this, this is the Big Book of Beasts. You flip through, glimpsing tons of monsters at various levels of, uh, weed? Is that supposed to say weird, or is, we, is that a word? Uh, I'm gonna look that up. Scottish and I Irish variant of weed, says Webster.com. Uh, I don't think that's what they're going for, so I'm going to assume that's a typo, and it says it's meant to say weird. Uh, various levels of weird, cute, scary, and spectacular! You can use this to learn more about the weird alien life on this weird alien planet. Neat! Uh, you pick a page at random and accidentally spend a few minutes reading about Muscle Beast Pectorial Tomb Sense. Maybe you should just use this on Lucis's that you ac actually encounter. Also hope that you never encounter that one. Mood. Um... Let's see, what is this? Zamek seems pretty paranoid. Even if you could crack this so this safe, it probably wouldn't be safe to do so. Well, let's try and put this in here. I tried my best. Uh, well, what's this? Let, let's access this. No dice, you guess it's out of power, maybe? Cube? I didn't expect that to actually work without, like, having to open up some sort of, like, thing. But I guess that drained the power. No, I didn't want to leave just yet. Let me back. There is some stuff I still wanted to examine in there, but... But I guess I'm SOL now. Hey! Hi, Joey. How's it going? Uh, not great. I accidentally put everything in lockdown? 
Or maybe it was in lockdown before and I somehow got past one door? That's probably it. The Tetrarch has extremely high security. What's the deal? Is he really paranoid, or is your planet really dangerous? It must be if everyone's house is full of guns. A actually my hive is pretty different. It's a lot cleaner, for one thing. And it has a tree growing in it for my Lucis. And there's no guns. That sounds really nice. What does he even need so many guns for anyway? Well, I guess it's okay to tell you since you're another Rust Blood, but don't tell anyone else. It's a major secret. I don't know a single other person on your entire planet. Oh, right. Uh, okay, but, um, yeah, so... We're rebelling. It's okay, you can take a minute. I know it's a lot of process. Rebelling against what? The man? Why is that agreed except for one letter? Uh... Why the hell is that green except for one letter? Uh, anyway, no, the heiress is a girl. Oh, um, right, you're an alien, okay. Some context. The heiress is a murdering tyrant who holds our pole planet and her wicked finny fish fist. Finny? Yeah, she's a sea dweller and a fuchsia blood. One of only two. The other one... Well, she's really far away all the time, leading the conquest of the other galaxies or whatever. Uh-huh, I'm pretty sure I know who that is. Which is lucky for us, because she's incredibly powerful. Not so lucky for the people in the other galaxies, though. Huh? Oh yeah, that's true. But anyway, the heiress is enough to deal with. The other high bloods follow her, and of course she has her drone army. Well, of course, ain't that always just the way? Yeah. I was kidding. I don't know what high bloods or drone armies are, or anything are. Uh, I hate to be all, Hi, I'm new here on your planet. Can you gradually bring me up to speed on literally everything? Which, in amazement, as I stun you with my penetrating clues to this, feast your eyes on my badly executed jokes. Uh... <laughs> You're pretty upbeat about all this. I think if I was suddenly shot, off, shot across the galaxy or whatever, I'd be flipping out. Aren't you currently bleeding out under a ton of rocks? I guess so. It's kind of annoying to have no idea what's going on. Um, well, the drones are the things flying around outside. They'll take us into custody if they see us, assuming they don't kill us outright by firing, firing missiles into our bodies until we're dead. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, a lot of this can wait until we get you to safety. I'm gonna go find your hover pad now. Talk to you soon. It's a living! <sighs> okay. Um... There was something I, wa I was going to comment on, but I have forgotten. I lost it. No use dwelling on it, I suppose. If I remember when editing, maybe I can like edit in a little thing, but I probably won't. Uh, anyway, I think that is good for this episode. So, in the next one, we will find a Zephyros' hoverboard. So, thank you so very much, everyone, for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. I will see you then.